Hey everyone, we are going to be looking at some text features and graphic features. We talked a little bit about text features yesterday in the summarizing video when we were talking about headings and subheadings. Um, there are lots of different kinds of text features to show emphasis or indicate a title. There's boldface words, which means they're darker and bigger than normal, italic, which means it's kind of like they're slanted, they're leaning over, and all capital letters. All of these show that something is important, something we need to be paying attention to. And then another type of text feature, like I was just talking about, are headings, which name the topic of each section of a text, and then subheadings can break down the topic into subtopics. So the next thing, we have graphic features. So that means there's visuals to go along with it, like a diagram, a graph, maps, charts, illustrations, and those can help explain the ideas in a text. So sometimes just reading the words isn't enough to really help us understand, and that's what these graphic features are for. Some examples, diagrams are pictures with labels. They're not just any pictures, they have labels. And here's an example of an eye. We know that the black part is the pupil and the colored part of the eye is the iris. Another type of graphic feature is a chart, and that just helps organize information. We know a lot of people like apples, fewer people like pretzels, but the least amount of people like carrots. So what we're going to do is, in your my book, we are on page 114 and 115. We are going to read through this together, and then we're going to think about some of the text features that this book has going on. So up here we have subheading light and lenses. Light passes into the eye through a lens. A lens works a bit like a magnifying glass. When you look through a magnifying glass, it makes things very clear. In the same way, the lens focuses light so the image that we see is clear. It focuses the image onto the retina. The retina is the surface at the back of the eyeball. The image that the lens sends to the retina is upside down. The brain turns it the right way up so we know what we are looking at. The next subheading, messages to the brain. The retina sends messages about what your eyes see to your brain. First, it changes the colors and shapes in the image into millions of signals. Then, it sends these signals to the brain along a pathway called the optic nerve. The brain figures out what the signals mean. And our last subheading on this page, lens and distance. Look away from this book and focus on something far away. You will not feel it, but the shape of your lenses changes. The lens becomes thinner when the eye looks at things close up, and it becomes thicker when the eye looks at things far away. So we just read all of those words, and it's very interesting, but I don't know about you. I'm having a hard time really picturing all that and holding all that information in my head. So that's why I like that there are some text features down here, some graphic features down here, that help me understand the text better. We've got the retina. That's what it was talking about when it was talking about the retina. The optic nerve. The lens. And here I see how that image is upside down. And it says, when you look at things far away, the lens in your eye changes shapes. Here's what it looks like seeing far away and seeing near. And the caption up here, light from an object passes through the lens of the eye and is focused on the retina. So how does the diagram shown here connect to the text and captions. So how, what does this have to do with what we were just reading? I want you to think about it. And it shows us exactly what all of this was talking about. It shows us what that looks like in the eye. It shows how the shape of the lenses change when you're looking at something near or far away. So now I want you to think, how does this diagram add to your understanding of the ideas in paragraph 16. That's the last paragraph we read. Look away from this book and focus on something far away. You will not feel it, but the shape of your lenses changes. The lens becomes thinner 
when the eye looks at things close up and it becomes thicker when the eye looks at things far away. So how does this diagram help you understand that better? It shows that the shape of the lens changes so that the object you're looking for is in focus. As you continue reading this book, there are lots of text features and graphic features that it has. So you can look back at this anchor chart to help you remember, oh yeah, these things are to help me better understand what I am reading. You might even find some examples that are not on this chart.